We want to tell you today why confidence is sexy. And if you like this video, subscribe and like it so that you get notice of all our great content. When it comes to dating, would you rather someone accept you and marry you because you were the only option? Or would you rather feel chosen? The only way to really truly feel chosen is to know that your partner had other options. So when it comes to confidence in dating, we want to approach it as an opportunity to get to know a lot of people and to actively and intentionally choose the very best companion for ourselves. It might take a while to get to the point where someone else actively chooses us, but ultimately that leads to a better companionship and a stronger marriage when both people choose in intentionally and actively because it's the best person rather than just the only person. Yeah, Kathy, you know, when I was in my 20s and college and I was dating, if I asked a woman out and she said no, I would be so horrified by that that all I could do is, you know, sit in my room and stare at the wall for three hours or something. And I found that when I was in my middle years, I, I knew myself better. I was more comfortable in my own skin. I had also been around the block enough times to know that I'm not for everyone and that's okay. I had a lot more confidence dating in my middle years than I ever did in my 20s. Even though in my 20s I was lean, pretty good looking, athletic, dating in my 40s I was consistently a few pounds overweight and uh, didn't necessarily have my life together and yet still I, I managed to date a lot of impressive women because I think I knew myself. That's why mid-singles can be confident. It's actually a really good reason to be confident. The fact that we are established in our careers, that we know ourselves, that we know what we want, and we know when we meet someone, we can offer more truly who we are than when we were first young adults and just figuring it out still. When you were a young single, did you ever do the thing where you're agreeing with everything the other person says and otherwise trying to just make yourself into what they want because you're interested and... I wear my heart on my sleeve and I think I'm usually pretty true to myself. Uh, I think being real has always been important to me. See, I totally did that. <laughs> I know a lot of people who do do that. But in my middle years, I, I didn't because I figured if somebody said, you know, do you like dancing? And I said, I got two left feet. And it was really important to them to have someone who was going to take them out dancing every weekend. Well, I was probably not their guy, you know. In terms of this video, confidence is sexy. The way I define it is an active participant in becoming the very best version of themselves. Someone who's living true to their belief system and willing to make changes when they see things that could be better in themselves. That's something you and I connected on is that we were both on a personal development journey and we were both interested in becoming the best person as single people and becoming the best partner or future partner that we could be. Yeah, we were both really intentional about that and, and it was really huge in launching our relationship. You know, I would actually like to talk about what the opposite of this confidence is sexy in my experience. So when I was dating, most of the guys I dated, I think, were pretty true to who they are, I, especially the ones I got to know better. And that helped me kind of know how my personality meshes with different personalities. But occasionally I would go out with someone who wasn't dating a lot and kind of found this opportunity to date me as this once in a lifetime thing where if it didn't turn into a marriage, they were devastated because they didn't know if they'd ever have the opportunity again. And it kind of left me feeling like I'm not being chosen. I'm the backup plan. I'm the only shot. I'm the one person that ever showed interest. And it's not, that's not attractive. I don't think most of us want to feel that we're not being actively chosen. And some of the things that a person like this would say would be, I'm always rejected. No one ever chooses me. Everyone always goes away. If you're familiar with those feelings, I would encourage you to shift them. 
because they are not serving you. Because I know it's a very painful thing to believe that you're not lovable. But I would like to encourage everyone watching this and interested in becoming a better dating partner and eventually a better companion to believe that even if you are not currently in a loving, accepted, you know, I choose you kind of relationship, to believe that you are lovable anyway. Believe that you are worth loving. It would make sense that someone would be into me, that they would be attracted to me, that it would be good judgment to like me. I want to talk to the guys specifically because I think there is an idea among men that to get a girl to like you, you need to be a cocky jerk. And that's really not true. Women like confidence, and I think there's a very deep sort of biological need to feel protected. They feel more protected with a guy who looks like he can handle himself. But that doesn't mean he has to be a jerk. It doesn't mean he's not a gentleman or that he's cocky or that he's arrogant. No, in fact, I think handling yourself is, is the opposite of that. It's being a gentleman. It's knowing who you are and being authentic and being willing to take a no if, if someone's not interested in who you really are. It would be good judgment for you to want me. It would make good sense to do that. And that's confidence. That's not arrogance. And I think it really boils down to what are the thoughts that are running around your head day in, day out, about yourself. I know that one of my dating partners that was very self-conscious and felt very rejected a lot of the time by women was doing amazing things with his life. He had a career, he was going to the temple regularly, he had a lot to offer, and yet those stories he just kept repeating over and over again to himself didn't allow him to step into the power of all the, the wonderful things he was already doing. So it's not just about doing the personal development work, it's also about believing that it's enough, that you're enough, that you're lovable, that you are worthy of love and companionship and that the Lord will bless you with it in His timing. You know, we wrote the book Intentional Courtship. Intentional courtship leads to intentional marriage. And I think this confidence is sexy, leads to not only better dating experiences, and to attract good people into your life, but it also leads to better marriage. The confidence that we develop as single people helps us be more attractive to each other in our marriage. And more intentional in how we go about it. For sure. We might be a work in progress, but we're not always just a step away from good enough. We're, we are good enough as we are and in the whole process of our lives. So as you're dating, be confident. You have a lot to offer. Be enthusiastic. Be excited about what you're doing. What are your thoughts on this subject of confidence being sexy? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And remember, anytime is a great time for more love in your life. Thank you for watching.